Hi students, welcome back to our new lesson. So before we proceed, can you identify those image? What do you think the thing they have in common? You're right, it's a software. So today, we're gonna discuss about for you to maximize the use of Microsoft Word, Spreadsheet, and Microsoft Publisher. First, we have Microsoft Word. So what is Microsoft Word? Word is a part of Microsoft Office package and it's one of the most popular word processing tools. Millions of businesses and individual users depend on the capability of this powerful tool. However, despite of its popularity and the fact that majority of computer users, only few people who know how to use this powerful program to its full capacity. Today, we are discussing the 12 Microsoft Word tips to improve productivity. First, we have auto recovery and auto save document. One of the biggest frustration for Word user is losing all their working in case of of unexpected system or program crash. For this reason, it is important to keep saving your document after you make a few changes. You can just set auto save option in the Word settings. Next, we have recover save documents. You can also recover and save documents by navigating through file, info, menu, under Manage Version, click Recover Unsaved. This open a list of unsaved files. Double click a file to open. Click Save As to open and save a copy of the file. Next, we have Customize Space Option. Copy and Paste combination is a very helpful when you are working on a Word document. But at times, it can get tricky, especially when you are pasting a preset format. Here you can customize your face. For Eli, we have using Word Clipboard. If you are copying previous blocks of text or images, you can increase your productivity by storing the various copies in Clipboard. Tip, we have maintaining format consistency with text style. When you want to style a particular portion of your document, then highlight the text and select one of the text style on the Styles ribbon under Home menu. By applying proper formatting you to your documents, you can easily convert words documents to beautiful PDF ebooks. Next, we have applying styles quickly. You probably know applying formatting one of the segment to another segment using Format Painter. Number seven, we have Post Table of Content. Create document with appropriate headings. The headings facilitate easy navigation for outline view and help when generating an automatic table of content on reference tab. Number eight, we have Navigation Pane to move, to move Content Block. The navigation pane helps you easily drag and drop the content blocks. You can enable the navigation pane under view menu. Number 9, we have insert screenshot quickly. A screenshot helps to show with a single picture exactly what you explained in hundreds of words. In order to insert screenshot in the word, just go to insert and screenshot menu. Number 10, adding the binder. Uh, do you know that type three dots and clicking enter key will create a full wheel divider line in the Word document? Try with different keys, like asterisk, to create different types of divider. Number 11, we have insert full quotes. Having thousands of words without any picture or table in the document makes people bored. Don't worry, you have an option to insert colorful quotes to keep reader on your document. Number 12. Master Keyboard Shortcuts Keyboard shortcuts can really save you time when working on Word document. Can Ctrl S to save, Ctrl V to paste, Ctrl A to select all, and, and many more. 
Next software we will discuss is about Microsoft Spreadsheet. An integrated and accessible piece of online spreadsheet software. Free to use, you can create and edit spreadsheet directly on your web browser without installing anything. Ideal for collaborating in real-time tool. Multiple people can work in same file simultaneously. Meaning, you can see people's changes as they're made and everything is saved automatically. Working with Google Sheets can save your company or team a lot of time. Now, here's the 10 tip and trick on using spreadsheet. Number 1. Freeze row and columns. When you're working with large volumes of data, it's easy to get lost. This is a problem when you can see the column name in the head row. Number 2. Use conditional and alternative formatting. Conditional formatting can help you to track and evaluate of metrics like KPS with colored cells. You can make a cell, row, or column change color if the data meets certain conditions. In alternating color, this is another time saver. If you want your rows have alternative colors in Google Sheet, hit the format option from the menu at the top and then click alternative color. Choose the full template or choose custom colors. Third, use add-ons. The small program built by developers that enable you to do more with the spreadsheet of file. Fourth, we have use templates. Templates are one of the best ways to save time when you and your colleagues are working in G site. Google offers many time-saving templates for you to use. Five, learn how to use comments and notes. You can simply add information about the cell. Six, use Google Form with Google Sheets. Google Forms help you plan events, conducting a survey poll, give students a quiz, or collect other information in an easy, streamlined way. Number seven, click the version history. Users with edit access to a file can view a full history of a Google Sheet. You can revert to early version of the file and see which person made specific edits. Number eight, find and replace. Manually finding and replacing part of the text can be exceedingly those for big spreadsheets. With the find and replace function, you can easily make a revision. Number nine, we have create filters. There are several ways to filter the data in Google Sheets. With the filter formula, filters, and the filter view function, you can sort your data numerically or alphabetically. Select cell you want to sort. And then, we have protected sheet and wages. Google Sheets is great for collaborating but sometimes you might want to lock part of the spreadsheet to prevent others from making edits. You can do this with name and protected ranges. That's all for spreadsheet. Now let's move on on the last software we have. Microsoft Publisher is a desktop publishing program that allows users to create professional quality publications according to Microsoft. The program offers many options, designed and fonts, and that can be used to make magazine, newspapers, samples, and many more. So here's are the 10 tips on using Microsoft Publisher policy. Number one, we have page size. You can start a new document or change a current document to any page size you like. Number two, the nudge option. For a high degree of control over the positioning of objects on the page, use the nudge option. Just select the object you need to move, alternate arrow key, either up, down, left, right, and your object will move on pixel for each keystroke. 
use a range nod to change the increment of movement. Number three, absolute positioning. Even better, go to format size and position and use numerical value to position and size object. This is the absolute best way to make sure things will look right when you're going to press with a design. Do the math and use this method when you want your design elements to be positioned exactly. Fourth, we have group elements. After you have a section of layout positioned very precisely, it might be a good idea to select all items. This will lock them together in their relative position. Number 5, Automatic Roughing You don't have to press Enter at the end of each line, just at the end of paragraph. Simply type away and let Publisher wrap the text automatically. Number 6, One Space or Two Instead of putting two spaces after each sentence, you put one. This is a standard in industry. 7. Putting things on the background Publisher uses foreground and background layers. Your work will go on the foreground by default unless you set it to be in the background. You might want to use image or text in the background. Number 8. Remember to print a hard copy. It's very easy to miss mistakes in your document where you're looking it only on the screen. Print it out and look at it. Check for spelling errors, spacing problems, inconsistence, and design problems. 9. Spacing and Alignment Click the alignment of frames, text, pictures, and captions. It should be consistent throughout your publication. Also check spacing between headings, paragraphs, and pictures. The spacing should be consistent throughout your publication. And spelling and punctuation. Don't forget to check your spelling, punctuation, and grammar. Run the spelling checker. Another good one is to check accuracy of hyphenation. It's a good idea to have someone else to look at it too. That's it for today's lesson. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye!